Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're going to talk about our Gadlick number one, our first of our five killer Gadlicks. So this one comes from a three-beat triplet jazz idea. Um, the idea itself, the germ of it, is in example number one in your PDF. That example looks like this. Right, left, left, right, left, foot, right, left, left. Right? So right, left, left, right, left, foot, right, left, left. And that first right, at the beginning of the phrase, has a bass drum next to it. So right hand and right foot, left, left, right, left, foot, right, left, left. All is triplets, so you could count them as one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, or in funk, which is how I'm applying this, it's more like a sixteenth note triplet idea, so I think of it as one triplet, and triplet, two triplet, et cetera, et cetera. So that's the first germ of it. This is the essence of the idea. So I'm gonna play for you really slowly. Right, so all I'm doing there is just playing that idea over and over again in time and putting it in sort of a beat context. Of That's the germ. Now let's look at number two. Number two is the way I first heard Gad play it. Um, he played a chunk of this little idea and then he played a backbeat on the E of two and it sounds like this. So the uh, breakdown of that is right, left, left, right, left, foot, right, left, right. One triplet and triplet to E and. So the count is one triplet and triplet, two E and, three and four. Triplet and triplet to E and three and four. All right, so now example number three uh, is the same concept, only I'm just going to put the backbeat on two instead of the E of two. So that's like this. Now, number four is just a phrase where I'm using the three beat idea introduced in number one. I'm just going to play it in a groove so it sort of flows over the bar line a little bit. And number four is written out on your PDF. It goes like this. That's the basics of it. The idea is to absorb these uh, exercises, mess around in particular with number one, and get comfortable, play with a metronome so you can move it around and mess with it as you see fit. And then you can sort of do stuff like...
Right? So that's the idea. 